these are the things we use to keep our rat cages clean and today I'm just going to mention the, this is um, our Jenny fur plus Jenny and we've got a Mary there and we've also got the ferret but you do use the same products for cleaning the Savic metal cage as well but we'll do a separate video on that now you're going to need to do a daily clean, a weekly clean and a monthly clean. We have another video on the big monthly clean where my son has stripped down the cage and taken everything apart and there's more detail of actually cleaning the different things. But you're going to need lots of different things. Black bin bags for your rubbish, lots of kitchen paper. When you've dried with towels um, you'll often need to use a piece of pitch, kitchen paper to go round the corners and ledges in the cages to get any little bits of moisture that's been missed by the cloths and that's always a good idea. Lots of towels of various types, old towels, cheap towels, face cloths, microfiber cloths, tea towels, J cloths, scouring pads, toothbrushes enormously useful for getting into corners. Uh, what we, I call the dolly mops, I'm not sure what their name is, it's a cotton fibres on a wooden stick and these are really useful for getting in between the bars of the cage and um, uh, well worth having. Cotton buds are always useful for cleaning bottles, tops of bottles and also little ledges and corners. Um, we also have, let's do this bowl, keep a separate bowl for cleaning out, let's move those things out. We've got struggling here with all these. Nice big bowl that you can fill up with soapy water and get different parts of the um, cage into the um, houses and, and the tubes and things. And you'll see if you watch our other video how we wash the big things actually inside the base of the cage. So that can be used as like um, like a big tub or you may be able to use a bath or a shower. Um, cubicle to wash your your cage in but we always use shampoo for rinsing uh, washing and rinsing we dilute that in really hot water any wrap shampoo as long as it doesn't have pine in um, vinyl gloves really good to protect your hands when you're cleaning out if you have any cuts or scratches and we do have some cage cleaning wipes which we don't use all the time we would never use when the rats are actually in the cage but when we're cleaning out different bits of equipment if they've got some sort of like bit pooey or the rats have been ill then we use the cage wipes and then we will rinse out with the um, shampoo mixture hot water shampoo and rinse thoroughly but I don't like the smell of them but sometimes it's good to have something that is you know is getting rid of the germs especially if you've had some very sick rats and um, don't use well you you can if you want but I wouldn't use the baby wipes even fragrance free to wipe my shelves down because you are leaving a film on there which your rats may um, be licking up and I don't believe that that is very good for them for the same reason we don't use the spray cleaners for, that are made for small animal cages because I don't think they smell very nice they make me wheezy if they make me wheezy I think they might affect my rat's breathing but it is personal choice I am just really showing you what we do and then if you want to do something different that is up to you but um, I'm telling you the reasons of why we do things and, and hope that will help you to make choices. So um, with your weekly clean, sorry, your daily clean, you're going to have to remove any wet paper. You're going to have to spot clean the toilet areas and any areas where your rats go to the toilet. Um, you can wear the gloves or we tend to just get a piece of scrunched up paper and just remove any sort of droppings and things and then just put it into the bin. But it's entirely up to you how you actually get the, um, the any little poos and things out of your cage. And just go around, wipe all the shelves. And we find the flannels and the microfiber cloths are really good for daily cleaning, for wiping shelves and ladders and plastic, anything that looks a bit dirty, um, tops of the, the houses and things. If anything's got puddles inside of the houses, then you'd need to actually get right inside and clean. Make sure you dry everything properly. 
Um, daily clean, you also need to clean your, we clean our bottles every day with the bottle brush and just plain hot water. We never use detergent for the bottles. And um, the drinking spout, we, you can use either the other side, the li little brush that's on here, or you can use a cotton bud. Um, in my video on film, it, um, sorry, food, I did mention that we only use detergent on the ceramic bowls once a week. Um, but if we're using an oily food or yoghurt or something like that, we would use a tiny bit of um, washing up liquid diluted in water and a scouring pad. Um, and scrub out the bowl with a scouring pad and very, very hot water. But I can't emphasise how important it is to use a tiny bit of washing up liquid and to rinse really, really well. Some people scold out the bowls with hot water, um, but if you're a child, I would be very careful about using the boiling water from a kettle. I would definitely get an adult to do that for you. If you're using very hot water, and you're using the scouring pad, there shouldn't really be any need for you to scold the, the um, ceramic bowls. And of course the water bottles, you must never put boiling water into the water bottles. Just use hot water from the tap and rinse thoroughly afterwards. So that would be basically how we would do our daily cleaning. Now the weekly clean, you need to clean down, it's best to take the cage completely apart and you need to clean the bars of the cage and look out especially at different angles to the um, don't just look at the bars straight on look from the side as well you'll often see little dirty bits that you've missed in the bars so give the bars a good clean inside and out take out all the houses and all the toys that are plastic um, look at any wooden toys we quite often replace the wooden shoes every week you need to check things for damage as well um, and don't don't leave anything in that's cracked or broken or getting smelly. When you do your weekly clean, you don't have to take the shelves out. I'm sorry, looking at the camera. But this is one that I've taken out just to show you. These are places where they get really dirty and where a toothbrush is really really useful. You can get right into these little sorry, right into these here, and into these little corners and down the sides or anywhere where there's little ledges and, and little holes the connector bit goes in there but if you when you take this apart to do the uh, monthly clean it's another place and I find these fur plus shelves all these little holes you've got to be very careful clean from both sides the front and the back the little grooves give it a good a scouring pad and a toothbrush are really useful don't forget your rat carriers um, the wipes are good for cleaning out the rat carriers when you come every time you come back from the vet, but I would still wash them out with the soapy water as well. Um, yeah, because vets, it, obviously, it could be quite dirty mixing with other animals and things. Well, these are the connectors, and you can see the connectors for the shelves. In here, this is where your little bits of dust and dirt can gather, so you need to give those a good wash. Every... Um, well, you can do them when they're connected to the house every week, but when you do the monthly clean, you take everything apart, give it a really good clean. The ladders especially, I don't know if I can see any on this one now, it's, uh, you see little specks of dirt, urine it collects along the little grooves of the ladder, so make sure that the ladder's thoroughly cleaned every day with the cloth and every week scrub out with the brushes. Your little tubes, rat tubes that you have in your cage, they can get really, really dirty. And I'm going to say to take them apart at least every week. Get inside all these grooves, inside the little holes there. Turn around and do them from the other side as well. And also the little connecting tubes. Inside here, these li little rims. A lot of urine and bits of dust. And if the rats take food in there, you're going to get dust from their food. So they all need to be thoroughly cleaned out every week. And of course, when you're doing your monthly clean, it's just an extension of the weekly clean. The only thing you're doing really differently is taking the shelves out completely, making sure all the bars are extra clean where the shelves have been connected because you often get a little line along um, the bars where the, cat, where the shelf has been fixed on. So... That is really the extra bit with the monthly clean. Every single thing is going to be completely taken apart. So all your every week your rat houses and all your plastic bits will be cleaned. 
wooden bits will be replaced like chews and things you'll check it check everything for damage and just really keep that cage nice and clean because rats don't smell rats are beautiful they have their own natural scent and they it's just the cage that smells you'll probably find your weekly clean will be more frequently than every week um, if we have a cage that has six rats in our weekly clean is done every four days you can probably get away with a week if you only have two rats but the say if you've got four rats it might be every five days but you just have to ju judge yourself don't let your cage get dirty rats don't like to live in dirty conditions some people will tell you you mustn't clean your cage more often because it makes them scent up the cage more and urinate more well the thing to do is when you do your cleaning keep back a little piece of the damp paper and a couple of their little poos and when you put all your fresh bedding in, put that into your poo corner or your litter tray and mine have never stunk up their cage the minute they've gone in, it doesn't make them wee more, it just, um, I think it's just a little bit of security and rats aren't stupid, they know that they've got a nice clean cage and they actually like to be in a clean cage. Now the hammocks, we have another video on cleaning hammocks as well and I showed you how we would hand wash them. Now hammocks absolutely stink if you leave them in for a week. We, most of our hammocks probably get changed every two to three days depending on the rats and, and whether they're rats that like to wee in the hammocks. We use Simply Pure um, non-bio powder uh, which is little tablets, 18 in there for about £3.80 from the supermarket now there's two types, the blue label has perfume, we use the um, pink non-bio unperfumed. It has an EU eco label and it says suitable for um, people with eczema, phosphate free and vegan friendly. And we don't use any um, stain removers. We don't add anything like vinegar to our water, although I know quite a few people have told me they put vinegar in their water. We don't do that and we never use fabric conditioners because it can irritate some rats and cause sneezing. The same as with some people, can't use fabric conditioners. We do um, a pre-wash in the machine and then we do a full length wash and then we do extra rinse wash, uh, extra rinse, sorry, at the end of the wash cycle. And we don't have any problem with getting our hammocks clean. But the important thing is don't leave them in there for a week because they will smell. So even if you're only changing them, if you've got two rats, maybe you might have to change them twice a week. But just, you know, have, have a look and see. Um, if you can smell them, then it's really they've got to be changed so keep everything nice and clean because rats don't like to be dirty and cleanliness is very important to the health of your rat so I think that's probably about all I can say um, I don't remember if I mentioned this but we use simple soap for washing our hands and you're going to do lots of hand washing so get yourself some really good hand cream because you don't want dry scratchy hands and you're going to be washing your hands a lot